So what determines whether or not you're going to be happy truly? Uh, because I'm getting a little annoyed with the coaches out there and the happiness personal development experts there not giving things a little bit of nuance. So first, what determines what is going to make you happy or not? Yes, Dr. Sonia Lubomirsky is right, even though her research is getting a little bit more nuance. It's 50% that of us is genetics that's going to determine whether you're going to be happy or not. Now keep in mind, not all of your genetics are bad and depressed and negative, okay? Then it's 40% what you do to your brain. Whether that is NLP or you hire a coach or you are a coach or you learn the best personal development tools in the world. Uh, and many of them are taught on the island where I'm now. I'm on Bali right now. I just finished the training here. Interested in training with us in Mexico, Bali, Amsterdam, at the beach, in Venice Beach or Miami. Just go to globalnlptraining.com. And we can send you brochure and everything that happens every single day inside the training. Anyway, yes, you can use NLP to get rid of anxiety and significant emotional events in your past. And, and you can get fixophobia and you can set the goals in the best way. You can switch negative to positive emotions. You can really dig deep and change your life. And I think that a lot of coaches want to focus on that 40%. Right? They don't know what to do with the remaining 10%, which is life. Life circumstance is a factor. So here they are, they kind of reason that, oh, we have 50% genetic. Well, I'm afraid to do any genetics. I'm afraid to do anything with that, except saying that it doesn't need to fire. There's 40% control and 10% life circumstance. Now, most coaches, I can tell you that they don't really know how to navigate a person through the real life circumstances that can bring you down. Think about things like shame, guilt, grief, not feeling good enough, having fears, phobia. That's why I love NLP because it does deal with those things. It does deal with being bullied and being abused and having trauma. And it does deal with just getting bad cards handed. So I can legitimately say, that an NLP master practitioner and to a degree NLP practitioner can really help anyone with that 10%. The 40% is what most coaches and personal development experts want to focus on. If you know how to do this, then you're more likely to become happy. But nuance, folks, because I almost feel that it can become a little bit judgmental when you want to sell that for yourself. First of all, check yourself. Because here's the bottom line. What if it was your genetics that determined that you were going, are more likely to get anxiety or to be depressed? And it was your genetics that forced you to be raised by parents that had anxiety and depression and maybe abuse and trauma. And your 10% of your life was already a shit show when you were born. And that shit show caused you to make teenage mistakes or maybe get an addiction or whatever it is. What if you never were raised in a space of personal development or you can't afford, can't afford to be in this place of personal development? So pipe down, I want to say. I'm here on one of the most amazing destinations in the world. I am near Ubud right now. Across the street over from me, is a beautiful foundation called Bumi Sahat. And what Bumi Sahat does is it takes pregnant Balinese women who cannot afford healthcare, who cannot afford checkups, who cannot afford vitamins, who will die if their baby is born in breach, and they help them for free. So what if that was you? Certain things that we take for granted in the US and the Western world and in, 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 in Europe, what if that was you? So rather than throwing all these statistics out there, how you're going to magically make everyone better and be judgmental when they don't, it is really hard to dance and sing if you're grieving, if you're abused. So how do you then use your tool set? You step into that person's map of the world respectfully, 
you build rapport with them there and then you guide them out without judgment. Nobody wants to be judged. See you around.